Tesla has always had a huge rivalry with Ford, but thanks to Elon Musk's efforts, it seems that this fierce war will be coming to an end, as Elon just announced that he's buying Ford. How did Elon manage to acquire enough money to buy Ford? And what does this mean for the future of the two companies? Join us and get ready for an extraordinary turn of events as Elon Musk announces he finally bought Ford. Ford and Tesla have been at extreme odds ever since Ford decided to enter the EV market. It seemed like whatever Tesla did, Ford could do either better or in larger quantities. Just take a look at the Cybertruck and its biggest rival, the F-150 Lightning. Even though Tesla managed to make the first pre-production Cybertrucks before Ford, the F-50 found its way to the market first and is now one of the best-selling EVs in the world. Also, check out the ongoing rivalry between Model Y and the Mustang Mach-E. Even though the Mach-E is much more expensive than Tesla's own compact crossover, it's still extremely popular with the public as it offers a much cooler design and a much better equipped interior. Which one would be your pick between the two? The Model Y or the Mustang Mach-E? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below. Despite their initial success, Ford has had a lot of hardships in the recent past as their EV sales have begun to dwindle. For the first time since they separated its electric vehicle business unit, Model E, Ford has detailed the financials behind its electric vehicle programs and confirmed its EV business is currently generating 40% negative margins. This is very bad for Ford as it means that they'll need to delay or even cancel their numerous planned vehicles because the market is simply not profitable for them as much as they expected it to be. Meanwhile, Tesla is still the most popular EV manufacturer in the world, and they've been at the top of the list when it comes down to best sellers. Their sales figures are rising in both Asia and Europe, and the Tesla Model 3 and Y are currently the best-selling vehicles in Norway, EV or not. It's no surprise that Elon Musk has been doing his best to eliminate the competition, especially when they're down. However, the question remains, how did Elon manage to accumulate enough money to buy Ford? Well, thanks to the ever-growing popularity of Tesla all over the world, the company's shares have surged in extreme heights recently, and they've brought a hell of a lot of money to its owner. Tesla, which produces way fewer vehicles than Ford does, is now worth more than 10 times what Ford's market cap is. You probably know that Elon Musk is among the richest people in the world. However, the more important info that you should remember is the fact that he is by far the largest billion gainer among them all, which means he'll eventually become the richest man alive once again. His net worth is currently above $260 billion, making him very eligible for the purchase of FOMO Co as the company market car is just above $50 billion. Even though cashing out $50 billion is a lot of money even for Elon, buying out Ford will bring him a lot of profit in the long run, as he'll bring his biggest competitor under his own wing. The man is a monster when it comes to making money. Seriously, he's been making good moves ever since he started Tesla, and now he's about to bring one of the biggest car manufacturers in the world to his heel. Truly incredible. Tesla is also going to up their production numbers in the very near future, as there have been rumors that Elon is about to invest a fortune into making Tesla factories all around China, which will allow him to make considerably more money per vehicle, while also being able to pump out a bunch of them in a relatively low time span. Considering the current market situation, this will be one of the best moves he does, as it'll bring him a boatload of cash. You can never overproduce Teslas, as everyone wants one. Elon will reroute some of these profits into buying Ford piece by piece instead of buying it all at once, as it'll take much lesser toll on his net worth and budget. Honestly, the second way is, in our opinion, much better. And if we take into consideration what's happening between Ford and Tesla, we can safely say that his plan is already unfolding. What does this mean for the future of Tesla and Ford? This essentially means that Tesla and Ford will gradually start collaborating until they fully merge into one corporation. This is already happening, believe it or not, as Tesla and Ford have already made their first move together, which is sharing their respective superchargers with one another. This means that Tesla and Ford owners will now have 22,000 superchargers at their disposal, instead of the low number of 12,000 for Tesla and 10,000 for Ford. This will logically make the overall charging spots much more frequent, making Tesla's and Ford's electric vehicles much more desirable than the rest of those that are doing serious mileage. This has already started to show, as Ford's and especially Tesla shares started to jump, while their rivals like Lucid and Rivian plummeted considerably. Elon is, per usual, swatting two flies with one strike. The man is truly a genius, wouldn't you agree? 
The fact that the interaction between Tesla and Ford was extremely pleasant and positive leads us to believe that the two companies are actually extremely close. They're doing their best to make this transition to a single charger type as painless as possible for the consumer. Ford and Tesla have both been working on adapters for their chargers as replacing them wouldn't be cheap. These adapters are going to be pretty cheap and both Tesla and Ford announced that customers shouldn't expect a price that's upwards of hundreds of dollars. Also, both of them said that there will be no penalties for users when it comes to the maximum speed of the chargers, as they'll always allow fast charging for the other company's cars. It's evident that the two companies are doing everything to make this collaboration as beneficial and as painless as possible for the consumer, and we're glad that that's the case, as we're extremely tired of car manufacturers doing everything for a profit. The new quote-unquote partnership also shows the two companies have already begun the merging process and they'll soon start sharing even more stuff with one another. This makes a lot of sense as Ford desperately needs to boost its EV image and partnering with Tesla is sure to make them much cooler than what they currently are. As we've already said, their stocks have already jumped up significantly with this move. Now imagine what's going to happen when they start sharing even more stuff. On the other hand, Tesla needs to produce a lot of vehicles, and sharing the production lines with Ford, which has them in abundance, will surely allow them to save a lot of money instead of making these production plants themselves. Another cost-cutting measure can be made by centralizing its supplier line, as Tesla has been extremely heterogeneous when it comes down to suppliers. Using Ford supply lines could potentially save them a bunch of money. Money that can, you guessed it, be used to buy out Ford shares one by one. Also, Ford has already set up shop in China, so there'll be a great first foothold for Tesla to enter the country and start making their vehicles there, as the company is still relatively foreign to China. So it's evident that there are numerous benefits of acquiring Ford, as Tesla could actually elevate itself to unseen heights by using the road paved out by Ford. However, let's not get ahead of ourselves, as there are also reasons to believe that Tesla and Ford won't really merge, or at least not under Elon's ownership. It's no secret that Elon admires Ford as a company. Far from it, he's been pretty vocal about the stability of the company, noting on a couple of occasions that Ford is, aside from Tesla, the only car manufacturer that could never go bankrupt. Also, Elon has already encouraged Ford whenever they were experiencing hardships, like the fall of production numbers, stating that despite the situation that they're currently experiencing, Ford will come out on top, and their marketing strategies are among the best of the best, which was best shown by the extreme popularity of the F-150 Lightning. This mutual respect, alongside their recent collaborations, will more likely lead to joint cooperation between the two, something more akin to Stellantis, which is a joint venture between Fiat and Peugeot. This will bring more spoils to both companies than Elon's acquisition of Ford would, as if Ford were acquired by Elon, it'd mean that it was kneeling to the market, which would therefore mean that Elon would have to invest a lot of money to make Ford profitable and likely again while risking to jeopardize Tesla's own popularity. Plus, as great as Tesla currently is, they've also experienced a lot of problems recently, especially when it comes to their production output. They simply don't produce enough cars, and from time to time, even those that get made have horrible build quality. Seriously, where is the Cybertruck already? It's been four years, and we still have nothing. Oh, sorry, we've seen a couple of reproduction models being driven around. However, they all look like they were built by a 12-year-old, as they were full of scratches and panel gaps and questionable fit and finish. No offense, 12-year-olds. So, Elon will most likely prioritize getting his company back on track before he even considers buying a new one, let alone Ford, which could turn into a dumpster fire at a second's notice. And also creeping up on Ford and making them dependent on Tesla could lead to their brand image becoming intertwined with Tesla, which means that Tesla could dictate the terms of their possible partnership, which would be a better solution in the long run, as Tesla will be able to make a lot of money off of Ford without taking a risk of owning Ford. And plus, Tesla doesn't really need to own Ford to use their benefits, as a simple partnership will suffice. They'll be able to use their production lines to boost their outputs, enter the Chinese industry, and even have mutual dealerships, allowing Tesla to reach countries and places all around the world since they've had a problem with doing so, especially in the relatively underdeveloped countries. So, as much as we'd love to see Elon Musk as the owner of Ford, we're not sure that that will happen, at least not yet. Instead of that, going the way of a mutual collaboration will bring benefits and popularity to both companies and will also be much easier to the budgets of both companies as they'll share parts, production lines, and maybe even platforms once they become best buddies. 
In fact, a platform shared with Ford, which is intended for affordable small EVs, would be a blessing from God for Tesla, and they could use it for their upcoming $20,000 EV, which will absolutely destroy their competition. In fact, this $20,000 Tesla will be the perfect contender for those underdeveloped countries that we've previously mentioned, as it will give people access to cheap transportation that'll almost completely be free to run. And if you'd like to learn more about this new Tesla, be sure to check out this video.